Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than the other videos that I have been uploading recently. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how, what type of information YouTube is gathering from you uh, from its iOS app. So recently Google um, updated it finally after like two months of this feature being released uh, thanks to iOS 14 and also the changes that Apple did with the App Store that developers can now add what type of information uh, their applications are using and taking uh, from you in the app. And Google, of course, what was updating all their Google apps, they made a promise that they're going to do this feature, that they're going to add this feature to all their apps. And they did it to their least popular apps. So like Google Fiber and all these other like apps that I don't even have on my phone. But of course, they're more popular ones like the YouTube app and like all the other apps were taking a while. And a lot of people thought that maybe um, Google was trying to like, you know, trying to like maybe try to forget about it and everything. But finally, quietly, um, Google has updated their uh, their YouTube app in the App Store where you can see now the information that they are taking. So let's go and check out the information that uh, YouTube is currently taking from us uh, from within the iOS app. So of course, it's pretty easy to see this. So when you open the App Store, of course, and you go to the YouTube app, you get to see, of course, when you scroll down, um, you'll see right here the new features, the app privacy area. And then right here, you'll be able to see the data that's used to track you and then also all the data linked to you. So we're going to tap on the data used to track you area first to start off there. So uh, these are just some of the basic stuff that they take from us, of course, the YouTube app. So of course, contact information, email address, phone address, identifiers, user ID and device ID, which is pretty normal stuff um when it comes to applications like youtube but of course now we'll go to see the data link to you so this one will be much more like much more tracking you a little bit much more deeper so this is mostly of course for advertising and youtube of course is a big company that like you know has a lot of ads on it um, so of course it will take your location to show uh, users and you of course your ads that you need to see when you're watching YouTube videos on YouTube. Um, contact address, search history of course, we all know that, um, which uh, YouTube has been really really good at that. Uh, browsing history which is nothing new there. Uh, usage data of course of your device and everything which of course you advertising data and everything which is normal of course since YouTube uh, like I said, it's a big, pretty much a big ad company. And then if we go to developers, advertising or marketing. So here, of course, it will track also your purchases, which is really like, why would YouTube need to do that if you need to purchase something? I don't know if they track the app purchases as well, or just purchases that you do outside the app store. Um, so that's a little bit weird. That one, the location of course is normal. Of course, they're showing you videos from your areas first and try to get you to watch videos from there. Uh, contact info, of course, your physical address, which is insane that they need the physical address uh, that they're taking that from you. Your phone number, of course, your search history. I don't know if that's like all over the like Safari and all over iPhone um, and usage data. And that's pretty much it. And then of course, in the analytics area, um pretty much the same thing like all the other ones except here we have usage data diagnostics crash data information performance data i guess that's all for the app of course whenever it crashes um which is you know that's normal of course they want to improve the app and everything so that's a little bit intense there and other data types so i wish i could tap there the other data types there but nothing will open up if i even try that and then product personalization. So this, of course, here is for, you know, to track, to give you much more better video experience and, of course, better ads to um, show what you're searching and everything and to maybe show an ad of a product that maybe you're searching for here. So, of course, location, contact information, contacts right here, which is intense. Like, why do they need our contacts for that? Um, browsing history, of course, other data. So it's pretty much the same thing, all the other stuff here. Um, app functionality here. So this one's gonna be like all this information. I don't know why YouTube needs to gather so much information about us uh, for the app f f functionality, but 
they take that data as well. So yeah, if you're mind blowing like me, like when I saw this yesterday, um, like after I seen, I saw it like on a blog that they updated this uh, thing from YouTube, um, I was just surprised all the other like, and then other purposes right here, purchases, location, browsing history and identifiers. So yeah, it's a lot of information that YouTube is taking from us uh, from their YouTube app on the iPhone and iPad. So yeah, it's really, really crazy that, and of course, I'm not surprised, of course, it is owned by Google. Google is like pretty much an information data company. Um, and of course, and maybe they, they're taking all this information, not just cause to serve you better ads also, but better videos as well try to keep you on the YouTube platform a very long time so that they can show you more ads and everything. And that's the whole point of YouTube's business, right? Is to keep you engaged, is to keep you always on their platform. And so yeah, you can now see all the information that YouTube is currently taking from you from your iPhone, um, which is really, really crazy. And so yeah, it's just insane. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, you can quickly see this information. It's pretty simple, of course, in the App Store. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy that uh, Apple has done these changes on the App Store to show people uh, what developers are taking from you, what type of data they're gathering from your uh, from the app. And as you can see here, it's very, very is like. This is just from one big company, of course, um, like YouTube, all like the huge data that they're taking amount from you and tracking you and everything, which is nothing new. So yeah, that's pretty intense. And so yeah, that's the video that I want to share with you guys about how much information you know, like YouTube knows about you now, just within using your iPhone app, of course, and how much information they're taking from you and some random information that I don't even understand why they need contact information for their YouTube app. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. If you guys did enjoy this video, please do hit the subscribe button down below and the like button because that does help a lot. And as always,